today we're uh, today we're doing community service um, I'm working on building my real estate so basically we have to do a certain amount of uh, community service and then it goes to the house and the home that we're that we're gonna uh, purchase and then from there we're gonna have tenants and rent different and just have you know um, income that works for you just have income that works for you while you're asleep so basically you buy a property and then you have tenants and then you're 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 building wealth you're you're building you're building wealth through the tenants you know what i'm saying so while you don't have to work as hard so basically you're building wealth through the property and then from there boom that's where the residual income is basically you want to have income that works for you you're making income you're basically having money you can make money while you sleep bro that's that's the ultimate goal you can't what what's the saying? Time you can't get time back. Time is, priceless. time is priceless. You know you can't you can't get time. So if I can work with less time, and make more money, I can spend more time with my family, and that's ultimately the goal. So um, this is something you guys keep in mind. Keep striving. Keep striving. Really try to learn different uh, different avenues. Really try to learn different things, man. Because I mean you can't be an athlete forever. You know your body breaks down. And then what's next? You have a, a, a next chapter of your life. So you really want to just just try to obtain different skills. You know what I'm saying? You can't put a ball in the hoop forever. So that's what I'm talking about, man. You just, just keep working, man. Really, really, really learn the business aspect of things. You know, everything is business. Everything is communication. That's just not basketball. Basketball is a, a small part. But you can take the, the, the basketball part and use it to help you in different aspects of your life so just keep that in mind really try to strive to different things and really try to learn so we're here at uh freak you can't see it we're here at uh, habitat for humanity restore this is where we're uh helping to get our home Journey. So how much is it again? One more time. I'm sorry. How much is the? the that slip? one right there is a uh, 240 square foot set of sheet vinyl. Oh wow. And it's gonna sell for 60 bucks, 25 cents a foot. That's a lot. Armstrong makes that. Wow. Yeah. It's on the what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 21 feet on this. All right, who's on it? 21. I'm going to bring it to this side. Yeah. Get a measurement off this. Make sure it's laying flat. Oh. Yeah, I got to, you need to get to 21 feet. No, I got to get straight, don't move back, move back. Oh. Yeah, you got a mark on each side and line them up. Yep. You got to go that way a little bit. Please overlap here. You got to bring it your way. Oh. It should go edge to edge. Close to it. Right? Yeah, some space right here. Okay. And then somebody's got to go. You ready on it? Yep. The easiest way. Okay. Fun part. Cut it. Okay. Raise some nice over there in the glass. Now, what you like to do, if you can, but it's hard, is to put this under it, but because you can cut right like the way it is. Blade's gonna go in no time on that cement. So if we could raise it up a little bit, like yeah, but I don't think it's going to... the whole thing and slide it under you? You could, but I, I do kind of take it back so far. I don't know if it'll work. So I'm going to raise this. And if you just stick this under that line all the way, you can cut right on it. It's not going to hurt that. And you can grab it on the other end, make sure it's lined up with the line. So in other words, it's sitting on it. Oh, okay. Put the line so on right it. Right in the middle of the... Yeah, you put the line on it, right in the middle of it. Okay. You, oh, want to cut, you want to cut into the wood. Oh, okay. 
The wood can handle it, okay. and it won't dull the knife. Okay. You got the blade? Go for it. It feels like cutting. I'll do it. Follow the line. Just take your time. Well, we might need to slide it up a little bit. Push it his way a little bit and then bring it back after you get. Okay. It's good? Right, yeah, that's good. And it, you ain't got to be perfect. Okay. Just stay as close to the line. Because, you know, this is probably going to go up against the wall and get trimmed again when somebody installs it. Oh, okay. But the closer to the line you can stay, the better. Just now. Is it, is it, is it, how many uh, feet, how, how far is it? From we're going to we're gonna list it as a 20 by 12, even though it's 21 worry, feet. Um, um, the wood, because the wood can handle it. Handle. It's all right if we cut into the wood, right? That, yeah, that's why I got it there. Yeah, don't worry about cutting it down. You just want to make sure it cuts all the way through the vinyl. That's the important thing. Right. And can, you test, can you test just it or not? Just see if it's through. Oh yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. This guy's yeah. precise. The yeah. razor blade makes a nice cut. And I got more over there on the window if that starts to get dull. Oh, the bills are right here. Oh, you got them right here? We get a lot of landlords and contractors in. So, having sheet metal, I haven't had it in almost a year. Having This will sell in a week, all of it. Oh. Make some money for the re for the housing program. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. And the really fun part is after this is cut, mm -hmm. rolling it back up yeah, even. Trying, yeah. even. Yeah. It, there's, this piece had a big sleeve inside of it, keeping it from bending. We're gonna be rolling up sections that ain't got no sleeve inside of it. Oh. So it has to be tight and even, otherwise when you go to put it up. It folds over on itself. Well, it's it start getting lighter after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's we took, we took 20 some feet off it already. It's going to already be lighter. And then we got another big one there. And that little one there, that's a big, heavy one, but it's not as wide. It's only, I think, eight foot wide, six foot wide. And that's all the vinyl they sent me so far. I remember I had, uh, had like eight of them, uh, Navy volunteers, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're Navy or Coast Guard. I mean, uh, what happens if you cut off the line? It's nothing. Okay. Um, and they got those guys booked. And um, they filled that flooring rack two layers deep mm. of sheet vinyl. And within two weeks, it's all gone. Mm. I mean, it must have been, there was a good 20 rolls. Right. And they needed it. I mean, it don't have to be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, somebody's be perfect. very meticulous here, and that's fine. I just want to make sure that it's cut. That's what, I think that's the most yeah. important part. Yeah, because the end, it don't have to be. Because it's, 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 it's a little bit after <laughs> anyway, so yeah. it's going to tuck it or whatever. And it's going to get cut again, right. just to make sure that you separate it. Right? Uh, oh, deep inside. <laughs> This guy's going to work. Call him Bob the Builder. But instead of Bob, his name is Brandon. His name is Mujahid. Ain't no dang old Brandon right Oh, shit. He is Brandon. <laughs>